in this presentation we have to talk about uh, the term surface integral the integration of vectors on an open or closed surface is known as surface integral see this surface s is the closed surface and a is the vector function the surface s yes, is separated into so many smaller surfaces here i have taken a smaller surface ds the component of the given vector function a normal to the smaller surface ds is vector a dot n cap here n cap is the unit vector as we pointed out earlier the entire surface is separated into multiple smaller components ds1 ds2 ds3 and so on the surface integral of the vector function a over the entire surface is obtained by means of taking summation of this quantity vector a dot n cap this is equal to integral vector a dot n cap into ds then the same is present in this form vector a dot n cap into ds equal to vector a dot vector ds to know the physical significance of this surface integral i read out this statement suppose v be the velocity of a vector of a moving liquid in which a fixed surface s is drawn at any point v dot n cap into ds indicates the amount of fluid passing normally through the surface element ds in unit time which means that if we consider v be the velocity of the liquid fluid means which includes uh, liquid and the gases the amount of liquid going out from the segment ds in unit time is given by v dot n ds if v be the velocity of the liquid the integral of this normal contribution expresses the flow of liquid through the whole surface in unit time if v be the velocity of the liquid then integral v dot n cap into ds equal to v cos theta into ds you know that a dot b equal to ab cos theta here vector v dot vector n this is unit vector n cap equal to modulus of v into modulus of n cap cos theta whereas modulus of n cap is equal to unity therefore v cos theta into ds here v is a scalar then this is modified as vx dsx plus vy dsy plus vz dsz now this is our surface integral let r be the orthogonal projection of s on the xy plane See here. This is the surface. Then this is our x-y plane. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. This is x-y plane. If R be the orthogonal projection of S on the x-y plane, the projection of the surface on the x-y plane is R, orthogonal projection. Now the ds value this ds should be replaced by dx into dy divided by modulus of k dot n this is k cap dot n cap this is k cap this is n cap now this relation vector a dot n cap into ds is given by integral of 
dx dy divided by modulus of k cap dot n cap.